LaShawn McCoy's ex-girlfriend is suing the Buffalo Bills running back for failing to protect her after she was bloodied, beaten and had $133,000 worth of jewelry stolen during a home invasion last month. Deli Jacordin also alleged in a lawsuit filed in Fulton County, Georgia on Friday that McCoy would often brutally beat his dog and would also aggressively, physically discipline and beat his young son. Without blaming McCoy for playing a role in the home invasion, Cordon accused him of breaching his duty to protect her because he owned the home. She also alleged McCoy permitted a hazardous condition to exist by installing a new security system and cameras and denying her access to arm the system. Corden's face was bloodied during a home invasion in the early hours of July 10. Details of the lawsuit were first reported by WKBW-TV in Buffalo on Monday. Police in Milton, Georgia, are still investigating and have not identified a suspect. Phone and email messages left with McCoy's lawyer, Don Samuel, were not immediately returned. McCoy previously said he had no involvement in the home invasion and had no contact with Corden in months. He also said allegations made by Corden's friend last month that he beat his son and dog as being totally baseless and completely false. A person familiar with the situation told the Associated Press the lawsuit will not affect McCoy's status on the team. The person spoke on the condition of anonymity Monday night because Bills coach Sean McDermott and general manager Brandon Bean have not publicly commented on allegations made in a lawsuit. The Bills are scheduled to practice Tuesday morning. McCoy has spent the past three weeks practicing with the Bills at their training camp facility in suburban Rochester. He declined to comment on the home invasion or other allegations made against him during a news conference on the first day of camp. McCoy said he was instead focused solely on preparing for the regular season. Bean has previously said the team has done its due diligence into on the allegations and is satisfied by the conversations he's had with the NFL, which is holding its own investigation. We've communicated with the NFL, and we feel comfortable that LaShawn's going to be here and ready to roll. We don't see that changing, Bean said. McDermott also addressed the allegations at the time by calling it a situation that we take very seriously. McDermott reiterated Bean's comments by saying, We've done our part, looked into what we needed to look into and, as an organization, feel that we can move forward at this point in time. The 30-year-old McCoy is entering his fourth season with the Bills after being acquired in a trade with Philadelphia. McCoy led the NFL in yards rushing with the Eagles in 2013. In Buffalo, he has been part of an offense that led the NFL in yards rushing in 2015 and 16. The lawsuit was filed as McCoy is continuing year-long proceedings to formally evict Corden from the home. A hearing is scheduled for Tuesday. Corden has already moved out of the home. In her lawsuit, Corden says the defendants are liable for assault, battery and emotional distress inflicted upon her. She is also seeking the return of several pieces of furniture and rugs, as well as some personal items belonging to her and her son. To Marcus Porter, who is described as McCoy's friend and personal assistant, it is also named in the lawsuit. Gordon said Porter had the locks to the home changed and deactivated the doorbell camera that was linked to her phone on June 3rd. She said Porter and another person entered the home two days later and installed a new security system without providing her the access codes. She left on vacation on July 3rd and had her cousin stay at the home to take care of Corden's son. Corden said she returned on July 9th. The next morning, Corden said she was startled by loud noises coming from a bedroom which she said Porter would occasionally occupy. A male assailant then entered the master bedroom and pulled a gun, which he used to strike Corden in the face several times, she said. The assailant, she said, indicated he knew McCoy, and then demanded specific pieces of jewelry which McCoy had given to her for her birthday in 2016. In the lawsuit, Corden said she and McCoy's relationship became serious during a trip to Las Vegas in June 2016. A few months later, she said McCoy offered to buy her a home and have both of their names placed on the title.
she said two days before they closed on buying the home, McCoy told her he was only going to place his name on the deed based on instructions he received from a financial advisor. Gordon said McCoy's behavior became erratic after the 2016 season, which is when she alleges the running back would brutally beat his dog in the presence of Gordon and her friends. Without going into detail, she said McCoy would aggressively, physically discipline and beat his young son over minor mistakes that all young children make. Gordon said, when she confronted McCoy about the beating, he would yell and scream at her. On Friday, Corden posted a note on her Instagram account saying her injuries are healing, though she is still having emotional difficulty dealing with what happened. Close get the Globe's updates on the Patriots for free. Get point after, delivering Patriots game stats and the inside scoop right to your inbox. Thanks for signing up.